Good morning, good afternoon, and good night, and thank you for tuning in to another Patriot Plumber Report. Well, so I've got good news. My AC 300 and my B300 battery has arrived. I've unpacked it. I've gone over all the instructions. I have watched my videos. I have Googled other people that have the same unit just to see how they're doing it, what problems they uh, found and how they remedy them. But I did all of this prior to me even hooking up everything because that's the key. You need to learn about your unit that you're buying. Uh, a lot of these forums that I'm um, watching is people buy something and they think uh, it's going to be able to run everything. You know, I saw one person, they, they bought the, the EB3A thinking that could, you know, run, you know, a water heater or, you know, a huge refrigerator, you know, or freezer or something like that. So it's so keen and so important to learn about your product. And that goes for everything. If you're going to buy a brand new car, you learn about that car. If you're going to buy a house, you learn about that house. You know, you have somebody come and take a look at it, make sure everything is right. That's why it's so important to do your research, learn about your product, learn if it's going to run everything that you hope it's going to run. Just do your homework. All right. So now I'm going to flip this around and I kind of want to give you an idea of what I'm going to be doing. So give me a second. I'm going to turn around camera okay now my travel trailer is going to be my home base so like I said in the other video what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting all my batteries I'm going to put solar on the top I'm also going to have ones to where the panels will come up you know and then I can slide it down so like when the sun's coming up boom it's collecting you know energy there on top and then I'm going to put all my stuff in there all right, so now that's my home. You guys all know about that. Okay, so let's just keep on going. I'll show you what's going on. Trash day is tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Like I said, it's key to learn about your stuff. Okay. I'm gonna flip it around so you guys can see exactly. Now, if you see me looking at you in the video and then all of a sudden I'm looking over here, I gotta get used to filming myself and looking at the camera and not the, the phone itself. So uh, if I'm not looking at you, it's because I'm doing it wrong. So hold on. All right, you guys and gals. So this is my setup. Like I said, this is the AC 300 and the B300 batteries. So now, when you do get this unit, you want to long press, and then as soon as this light comes on, let go. So I will just do that. Long press. Okay, we are at 100%. So I'm ready to show you uh, I'm going to hook up my RV, my 30 amp, 120 volt to my RV, and I'm going to show you the things that I'm going to be able to run. Now, I only have one battery, so once I kick on my AC uh, inside, I think that's going to probably be about 1500, 1600 watts, and then the same with the microwave and the lights and all that stuff. But here's the good thing. When you're trying to really watch your energy usage, I also have other uh, Blue Eddy power packs. I have the EB3A, I have the EB70S, I have the AC200 Max with the B230 battery. Those units, I can run everything. I have one in, in my room, I have one in my daughter's room so she can charge her phone. You know, she can have her little disco lights and all that stuff. Whatever I can do to put more of the energy into like uh, a critical load, like my AC. Right now, AC is a must. 
So if I am running my AC and lights and all that stuff, maybe watching a movie, I'm going to probably be pulling about, I would say about 2,000 watts. Now if I have that coming in on solar, I'm not using my battery. And that's the great thing about the Blue Eddy is the pass-through technology. It's amazing. Uh, so it's free energy, free energy, free energy. Now I do have an electric water heater on my in my RV. It's also propane, so you can do the little switch and all that stuff. So I will uh, test that, see how many watts that I'm pulling, and I will show you everything. I'll show you my AC, how much it's pulling for the wattage. You know, running all of my lights in my RV. You know, running the TV, doing everything that you would normally do. Uh, I just want to see because what I'm doing is I'm calculating, and that's the key. You got to learn what your consumption is. That is key. And the one of the things that I've learned now that I'm you know RV life in it uh, with Blue Eddy is consumption. Um, I was, you know, I wasn't the kind of person that watched for, you know, turning on the lights and turning off the lights. It just, it just wasn't, uh, clicking to me. But now that I know how much energy that I was wasting, that's the key, uh, that I'm learning right now is to, uh, maximize my energy usage, which is key, you know, key is, you know, survival. Even if you're living in the home and you don't have any kind of solar, you know, the energy that we waste, that's money. You know, that's money out of your pocket. And that goes for everything. Um, so I'm going to see what the consumptions are on that. Uh, but this is my first step. And I just uh, wanted to, you know, walk you through everything that I'm doing. So we got the power on. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get my... Uh, power line from my um, my RV and I'm gonna plug it in and then we'll go from there so hold on stay tuned and I will be right back all right I've got it all plugged in powers not on yet so let's go to AC and we're gonna turn it on let's see what wattage is pulling right now so we've got 1500 and 16 1400 1425 that's what's pulling out of my RV right now let me show you what is running come on girls gotta make sure my pooch is following me right. here we go Don't mind the mess, you guys. Come on, girls. Good girls. Elizabeth, Ellie. Okay, so now it's really cool in here. I'm gonna pull off the glasses. It's really cool. So right now we've got the AC going. It's about 65. I can kick it up to probably about 67, 68. That's the good spot for our trailer. All right. So wait till it focuses in. There we go. I've got my stand-up refrigerator. Now this is propane and electric, so it's running off electric. But what I'm going to do, I've got lights going. I've got a fan going. Don't mind the mess. I haven't done my morning breakfast dishes but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn off the AC and see how much consumption I'm using now all right it is off now let me come over here and grab my phone give me one second I'm gonna pause this be right back okay it's off now. Let's go back outside. Come on, girls, you can come. They follow me everywhere, so you're gonna see a lot of them in the videos. I hope every day 
I hope everybody's having a great day. I just want to let you all know that Jesus loves you all. He's watching over everybody. And he's going to get us through this crazy predicament that this world is in right now. So let's, let's flip this camera around again. Okay. Let's get her out of the way. So, okay. We're reading 134 watts. 134 watts. Not too bad. The refrigerator probably hasn't kicked on. Um, I'm assuming that's probably the fan because I've ran that fan before on other videos and I think it's, you know, about 100 watts and then the other little watts and all that stuff. So, now that the AC is off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how much it's going to pull for the water heater. So, let's go try that. Come take a walk with me. I'm, a, I'm loving this, you guys. I am doing the RV life with Blue Eddie. I'm going to put it through the test because from what I've been watching, reading, and all that stuff, yes, they have quirks with their customer service, but you know what? It's getting better. It's getting extremely better. Just like any new company, you know, there's going to be some quirks, and it's just like, you know, I see all these people jump on these, uh, you know, the live streams or the comments, and then it's just like, ah! You know, um, I'm sure Nike was the same way. I'm sure freaking Amazon was the same way. I'm sure a lot of big, huge companies were the same way. So just have some patience, you know. Um, I have. I mean, I've been working with them for, you know, over a year now. And I, uh, not working for them, working with them, like, you know, with my units and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, just have some patience. All right, so the one thing I'm going to do real quick is I'm just going to turn on the, the faucet. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. You guys are just going to come with me. So if I come out of play, me, you know, what am I trying to say? I'm not really good with this whole camera stuff yet. Editing. So this is all raw. This is this is just me. So let's turn on the hot water. Let's just make sure that I have enough in my tank to hold this. Okay, there it goes. Let's just run back over there. Now, I'm running back and forth just so that I can make a really long video. No, I'm just joking. You guys can get the app and all that stuff. I do have the app. Um, it's just that the Wi-Fi is uh, a little bit longer. Okay, so with my electric water heater, it's just saying 132 watts. But maybe let's just keep it running so when the six gallons is empty, boom, there it is. You see it? It kicked on. Hey, I can run my shower. That is a plus. That's a huge plus. I could take a hot shower with my Blue 80 and not have to worry about it. That's a plus. I'll go over. Let's see. What's it topping out? So the water heater's like 350. So that is a win. Okay, I just shut off the water. So it's probably heating up right now. So yeah, like I said, you know, about 300, maybe 350 watts just to run my water heater. I'm stoked. Like literally, I'm stoked. Um, I was thinking it was going to be like 1,500, but I might be wrong. But I'm going to still watch this, make sure you know, because it's heating up right now. Because uh, it's only like a six-gallon water heater. So, but if that's it, I mean, that's that'll save on. Uh, uh, I mean, I could either keep it on propane or I can keep it on electric. I mean, if you think about it, I mean. 350 watts isn't a lot <laughs> you know <laughs> that's cool all right okay so learn about your product learn everything watch the live streams last night they had it in depth you know uh, and Tim and those those guys they do an awesome job on trying to just basically tell you what this unit will do 
it's us the consumers that need to show the videos and say hey this is what I'm doing this is what uh, you know I did and it didn't work and you know just learn the product learn your battery consumption and like I said hopefully I can get you know a couple more batteries if I get a couple more batteries I know that you know I'm gonna be set um, but yeah like I said there it is you know I showed you my I showed you my AC so that's about 1600 well what does it say 1500 watts that's 1500 watts the AC 300 can bring in 2400 watts 2400 watts that is amazing um, and uh, it just gets better you know if you if you get another head unit and a couple more batteries man that's uh, that's 24 that's 4800 watts of solar that you could come in be coming in um, but for me to just run my R RV uh, the AC 300 and the B uh, 300 battery combo is amazing. Like I said, I'm going to get more uh, batteries just so that, you know, middle of the light, you know, uh, I can run the AC or run fans. What I've been doing lately is right before I go to bed, I turn off the AC, I get the fans going, um, my daughter sleeps right through it. Uh, and uh, that will save consumption and all that stuff uh, but yeah so right now you guys are watching me run my uh, 30 foot uh, Coleman Catalina limited edition uh, RV and I I'm pretty stoked <laughs> I, and, and you should be too because with these units I mean you can have these hooked up to your home and like I said right there it can run your um, Oh, I lost the name of what's right behind me. Um, I got the name, but I can't think of what it does. Uh, oh, it's like right there. I'll think of something else. Anyway, so it can run all kinds of things. It can run your well pumps. If you have two units and say your well pump is 240 volt, um, boom, there you go. It can run that. Um, it can run all your your appliances you know if you have the the two head units uh, you've got that 240 volt which you know if you have an electric stove it'll run that it won't run it that long because those things consume a lot of energy and all that stuff or your electric water heater um, but there you go it's freeze dryer no that's not it the freeze I can't I can't think of it freeze-dried yes freeze-dried freeze-dried machine so that you can prepare okay all right I hope you enjoy my videos because I'm telling you you know with with everything that's been going on this last year and a half I'm still trying to get my foot fixed I'm still trying to get my neck fixed um, I, I have noticed that my foot is getting worse um i've submitted you know change of doctors because you know i had to sell my house because of the income that i was receiving um wasn't enough and um i had to take that um i had to take that step and say okay either lose everything or sell something and be able to survive well, that's what I did. I sold everything and I got a truck and I got a home. I got a trailer. Um, I got a game plan. That's the key thing. I have a game plan. Um, and a lot of people out there are suffering because of situations just like mine or, you know, losing their job. Um, I feel you. I know the stress. I know that the stress of this whole move has been hard on me. I'm just trying to be that rock for my, my daughters. Um, it's a challenge, you know. But you know what? Just like my hat says, you can't beat God. You can't. As long as you have God on your side, you are winning. 
You are winning. Check this out. This is Kentucky. So beautiful. It's just green. It's open. Sometimes I just come out here just to hear the sounds because I am not used to all of these sounds. It's alive. And so are you. So just stay focused. Now, I don't say it a lot, but please like, subscribe. Um, check out the links in the descriptions because um, Blue Eddie's having some sales. I know the AC 300 and the B 300 battery just went up from the $22.99 to the $25.99. So if you missed out, that's okay. You know, it's still a good deal right now. Um, but like I said, check out all of the links in the descriptions, like, subscribe, share. Uh, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. I'm up to 515. <laughs> yeah, I'm just loving this because I'm reaching 515 people right now. And I just want to let you all know that Jesus loves you. And he's going to be by your side. He's going to get us through this crazy, crazy time we're living in right now where there's a lot of communism and there's a lot of socialism and there's just a lot of evil stuff happening. But as long as you have God on your side, we're going to get through it. So be prepared. And like I said in a few videos months ago, knowledge is key to survival. Knowing that God does exist and that he is in your heart is key to survival. And then all the other stuff that we learned throughout the years. You know, I'm really grateful that I had the opportunity to become a plumber. You know, when I was a kid, did, you know, if somebody said, hey, you're going to grow up and be a plumber. I would have laughed at him. I'd be like, you're freaking crazy. I'm going to be a rock star. <laughs> that was my mentality. But now I'm grateful. You know, I, I'm a plumber. I'm a journeyman plumber. And, you know, that right there is key to survival, you know, sanitation, you know, and just imagine what would happen if your sewer stopped working in your city. <laughs> so I am just grateful for these little, I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for God. I'm grateful for my family, my brother, his wife. It's all about just being grateful and being connected to your family. <sighs> well, I'm ranting, but it feels like I need to. So, key to survival, having God in your heart, having your food, having your power, having the things that you're going to need to survive. And that's key. You know, I like to give a big shout out to Doug and Nancy on their YouTube channel because he is promoting the truth and I like that and uh, even though he has 1.6 million followers he's not afraid to speak the truth he's not and you know one of the things that uh, he's talking about um, that everybody needs to talk about and that's the the child uh, sex trafficking we need to abolish that we need to remove that from our history books because it's it's sick. But I just want to give a big shout out to him because he and his wife were the ones that really put a fire under my butt telling me like, hey, if you're going to have to sell everything, this is what you should do. I mean, I really want to grow my own food. I want to raise my own livestock. I want to be self-efficient. And they gave me that extra... <clears throat> You know to get it going to really think about the future and uh, you know our whole life we've been told go 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 work 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 and then one or two weeks out of the year you get to do a vacation and then back to the grind well I'm tired of the grind I am tired of you know these elites you know that sit above us and and then tell us what to do no I'm tired of that I got a trade now to where that I can go anywhere in the world and do your plumbing you know I've got you know over you know 20 years experience and 
I feel comfortable enough to where I could come in and I could fix your plumbing and I could do it for a reasonable price, you know, like doing the bartering, you know, you do, I'll do your plumbing. I need some chickens. I need this. I need that. We need to get back to that instead of, you know, depending on, you know, the government money, all that stuff. Your knowledge is key to survival. Remember that your knowledge is key to survival. Oh, my collar has been all jacked up this whole time. Holy smokes, I look like a bum. Yep, so you're getting this all raw. I might edit, I might throw in some stuff, but this is all raw, and I just want you guys to know that my journey for off-grid is going with Blue Eddy. Is going with Blue Eddy. You know, I've looked at other companies, you know, but I went with Blue Eddy because... Blue 80 gave me the opportunity. They said, hey, Chris, we like what you're doing after I bought, you know, my first unit. They saw what I was doing. They sent me units to test out and I'm stoked. You know, I, I love the products. You know, there's some certain things that need to be adjusted and they're doing that. Hold on real quick. Elizabeth, stay on this side of the road. Ellie, Ellie. Gotta call in the pooches. All right. Yep. So my key to survival is with Blue Eddy, Renergy, Solar Power, you know, and God. Bam. Everything else is gonna fall into place. This boot. I hate walking with this boot. Anywho, thank you so much for tuning in to another Patriot Plumber Report. Um, I just say thank you. Like, subscribe, tell all your friends. Let them know about this, you know, but that's the first steps. I wanted to show you what I was doing with my unit and what you can do with your units. And right now, Blue Eddie's winning. <laughs> I mean, you know, they're winning. I like it, you know, I'm satisfied. But yeah, right there, I cannot wait. It's, I'm gonna, it's gonna be like a little transformer. <laughs> All my batteries, all the wiring, all that stuff is going to be on there. And that's going to be my base of operation. So, all right. God bless. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you on the next report. It didn't stop. It didn't stop. Okay. So, I have to make a correction. So my water heater isn't 350 watts. It is around 1700 watts. So I will not be able to take a hot shower and then come out into a cold trailer. <laughs> but you know what? The great thing about it is, is I just flipped it over to gas. And I believe gas is going to be cheaper than uh, having to worry about the electric. Now when it comes to you know um knowing your products and knowing what it can handle so the way that i learned this mistake of kind of not uh, jumping the gun i should say i should have just waited a little bit longer for it to really kick in i thought it kicked on um but i was wrong but that's okay because i got the little alarm i had an overload i went in I uh, figured out what it was and I uh, cleared it out. I turned everything back on and I realized, okay, can't run the uh, electric water heater and the, the AC, which is okay. I'll go to gas, which would be a lot efficient uh, instead of the electric, which is, that's, that's a plus. Uh, but guess what? I'm learning this. This is all, this is all new to me. This life is new to me. So, I learned that valuable lesson. Now what I'm gonna do, uh, and I'll throw it in, uh, so when I do kinda edit, when I'm just adding these videos together, uh, hopefully it kinda makes sense, but I'm gonna pull out some panels and hook this up to the AC300 and see what I can get. So, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so I took three of my 200 watt panels. I hooked them up in series. 
I am getting 126 watts because if you can see up there, the clouds are gone. I tried to give you a little bit of a cool video showing like close to 600 watts, but the sun isn't working. So, uh, also with all of the testing and all that stuff, now remember I only have one battery and so I don't have all my solar panels hooked up. So I did have to hook it back up to grid so that I could charge my battery up. But what I'm just doing is I'm just testing it all out for you. You know, putting it to the test. Uh, just so if you decide to go with Blue 80, you can watch my videos and go, okay, you know, Chris did it. So, oh, look, the sun is coming out. No, it just went away. <laughs> just like that. All right. All right. So God bless. Uh, we'll see you on another report. And yeah, just remember, test all of your appliances. Make sure exactly what uh, you'll need to if you wanted to pull everything. Now, um, you can also uh, uh, just calculate up all of your, your wattages and all that stuff just so that you know that you have enough battery usage or enough surge um, and then go from there. All right, thanks for uh, tuning in and we will see you on the next report.